Right, today I thought well, I'll be selling this little number. It's called an Acon, Acon Electron. It's a BBC computer for the home. A lot smaller, a bit more compact, um, quite lightweight. Well, I'll say lightweight, but it's the ones I used to have in the home. Anyway, normal keyboard layout. Nothing different. Got an adapter put in the back, and today I've got what we call I can't think what it is called an Elk SD64. I think so, but it's called an Elk SID cartridge. Anyway, all the games are on a cart on a SD card, so you just download them, pop them on. There's a little menu on there, and it'll load up. Um, I forgot where I put the power supply, but this thing actually takes 19 volts bit high when most of the others like the spectrums and everything else take everything you see on there it says 19 volts um spectrums only take 9 volt i mean look how small the blooming thing is what, what power does it need um that's a cartridge port then you've got your power and then we've got the aerial what does it say uhef i don't know i don't know what the other one it means UHEF, I don't know what that means. I've never come across that before. Anyway, RGB, which I'll be using today, and also a cassette port adapter. But because I'll be using the cartridge today, I won't have to use cassettes or whatever else there is because we've got the cartridge, so it makes life a lot easier. So, yeah, that's that's it in a bundle, really. Um, not many people add these. Like you say, it tells you everything on there, what they are, but... Uh, yeah, not my favourite toy, but it's nice to have one in my hands to have a play with. So I'll pick or part the uh, RGB in, which is the picture, to get the better quality. As you know, I like the better quality if you can get it. So it plugs in. The cartridge. You can only plug in one way. It's got little adapters on the side. A little cut in between so you know it goes on the one side, so you can't put it in the wrong way. Well... We say that, which is up or down. <laughs> like you say, you can only go any more way. So we'll, we'll slot that in there. All the way, a bit nice and tight in there. And then we'll whack the power supply in. I can't find the power supply. As always, 19 volts. Oh, language. Didn't say anything. Oh, that's kind of weird, I've never seen that car before. Oh, it's decided to have a Benny. Maybe the car just bought in there and wasn't done properly. As always with these computers, like I've always said, hit and miss. There we go, we've got the basics. For it. Right, can you see that? That's the main thing. Oh, that better. Is that better? Is that better? Yeah. Well, it's too far over for me. Right then, anyway. Right then, so I was very because this cartridge is a bit um, bit weird as well. Like I said about the power supply, I couldn't find it, so I uh, I've used a multi one for now. I don't know where it is, but I'm not really bothered to flog it on eBay this because it's no use to me. So I might as well get rid of now. Right to get the menu on it, which is really I mean the instruction manual is a bit. Phew, this is just for the cartridge. I did myself with a few hints of the last time I used it a while ago. It says on here press shift and break so we'll do that shift and break oh, nothing oh basic far not found shift and break shift and break come on let's do another reset right shift and break far not found Oh dear, maybe this is not sitting in properly. It was working just before I turned the camera on, but as always, always old shit as my wife puts it. Put it in the skip. Oh, I do agree sometimes. Anyway, here we go again. Press that. Basic. Come on. Bad sums, oh my life. So 
bit weird this is temperamental crap come on nope it's the matter let's plug it in again turn that on no oil off switch over here so you have to pull the power supply out right come on no basic oh well Oh my goodness me. I'll have to come back. Hang on a second. Right. We are recording again. Right, that was weird. I think the, the memory card has popped out slightly. Right, turned it on again. You press shift and break. And shift and break. And shift and break. And the menu comes up. There we go. You can write this in. Uh, oh, it says put in game menu and press return. Anyway, here's a list of the games. So this is a bit so crap some of these games, but I was playing Question of Sport earlier and it was quite good actually. So what should we try? Um, yeah, let's pick a number. Um, Star Wars on there. Um, oh, I don't know. Pick a random. Press F. See what happens. See what we get. Oh, that was weird. Star Wars is there. Let's see if we can get that to start. So press 3. It's four games inside one of these things by the bit. I can't play football for saving my life. Right. 3. Star Wars. Here we go. Oh, while wait for that to load. We also got... Um, a joystick adapter which you can plug in which is okay but then you've got the cartridge in there you've got no through port but if you're using it on tape i suppose you've got a joystick port on that and that gives you the chance to use the joystick that was any add-on i had with it um never used it but uh it can go in the sale as well just thought i'd mention that while waiting for and we're actually getting a game to load now as well, which is quite good. As these things were slow, here we go. Press a key. Uh, X and now. X and S. Uh, do you wish to change these? Yeah, we'll turn the other. Q is up. A is down. A is down. Our left, our right, and press space to fire. There we go. Do you want to change these? No. Select your coloured background. We'll press one for red. Do you want sound? Are you here? I'm reading. Yes. Oh yeah. Load all these. And then it says it looks like you're waiting for something, don't it? Like I mean, you think something's going to start up, and then. You read it then you think, oh, select the starting wave. Oh, press one. And that's it, we're off. Press fire. Was it A and Z to move up and down? Put Q. Oh dear. And there's left and right. Oh, I shot one. Oh, move neck. Up. Harder keyboards in these ones. Joysticks were always better back in them days. Preferred the C64, but there you go. This is like basic stuff. Come on. Missed him. that one we'll try another one if we can get the menu to come up break shift and break shift and break shift and break come on we takes a few goes doesn't it uh we'll do another random one 
And we'll go for the very last letter, Z. There we go. Arcadia's, that can't be wrong, can it? It's got to be a better game than all the others. There we go. Arcadians. English, not Dutch. I wonder, I wonder, because I've never used this, if I took that out because it's loaded into memory, plug that in, let's see if that would actually work and then put a joystick into it. Hmm, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Never done this before. Shouldn't do it when things are on. But we'll soon see if it works. Got the wrong way around, isn't it? There we go. Got a joystick here. We've got one. There's been loads of joysticks around. Let's just put a joystick in there. Let's see if that one. Oh. So, press find the joystick from menu. Escape returns to menu. One player. Press one. One. No, we can have to break it. Oh, no. Oh, see if it will run again. Must have broke it. Never mind, it's worth a try, wasn't it? You don't know unless you try. We've just got our canes back on. Because it's Z on it. I'll have to see that. Worth a try though, wasn't it? I mean, don't know unless you try. Because like I say, if the running cassette port in. Yeah, no use coming in. It was worth a try. We were always doing funny things like that back in the old days. Right, we have always Z on it. And we're going Arcadians. Oh, how slow. How slow is this compared to the Commodores and Spectrums, eh? Oh, God, time's ticking, ticking, ticking. Right. Here we go. Right, press return. Um, press move for the Control A moves and return fires. Oh, there we go. After a while. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks nice. That looks quite nice. Actually. Not blooming dying in the meantime. I don't know. Yeah, looks like the original, but it's not as good, is it? I mean, you've got the Commodore 64 version, but then again, the one about just after, weren't they? So there you go. Not going to do too much on this thing, because like you say, it's quite a temperamental thing. But in the old days, people like the BBC, especially at school. BBC computer was one of the big things we used to have in a classroom. I wasn't brainy enough in them days to use a BBC computer. Was one of like the, one of the fit kids, as they thought we were. Oh, nice shot! But like you say, yeah, it's a modern version of. Oh. That's it, game over. But yeah, it's just a crackdown version of the BBC. I prefer the big BBC, to be honest. Anyway, that's it. Um, hope I gave you a bit of info on it. Any questions? Give us a shout. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.